Hi, welcome to section five. In the last section, we looked at routing. In this section, we're going to look at making HTTP calls through APIs. So what are we gonna learn in section five? In the first video, we're going to get you set up. We're going to create a MongoDB database, and then we're going to set up the API, which I've created for you and run that locally. In the second video, we're going to dive into the HTTP client module, which Angular provides and find out how that works. In 5.3, we're going to start making our requests through HTTP calls. We're going to get all our data from our database through our API, and we're also going to get an individual assignment through its ID. In 5.4, we're going to move it on. We're going to look at adding assignments, updating assignments through PUT, and deleting assignments through our API, and ensure that's all working with our database. So by this stage, your application will be much more real world than it is at present. And in the last video, we're going to look at error handling. We're going to learn how we can handle our errors gracefully. And lastly, we'll finish up with a quiz. So welcome to 5.1, setting up your database and using the API. In this video, we're going to get your MongoDB database set up. I've also created a Node API, which you're going to download and run locally. And then I'm going to show you how to connect to the database through the API from your client. So first of all, let's just talk about MongoDB. What is Mongo? You may have used other databases in the past, such as MySQL or Oracle, and these are relational databases. These are tabular, they use tables, and they relate to each other through foreign keys and such. MongoDB is actually a NoSQL database, it's non-relational, and it does that through documents. It creates JSON-like documents, sort of JSON objects, which can be updated over time. And these documents can be housed in collections. So for example, we've got our assignments, so we might have a collection of assignment documents. And each of these documents may contain different properties such as name, ID, due date. And the great thing about MongoDB is it's free and it's open source. And you can create your database online and connect to it through a URL. It's easy to get set up for free, but if you ever wanted to scale your application, you can move on to paid tiers to provide much more flexibility and growth. And one of the reasons why we're using MongoDB in this course is because it's part of the mean stack. And the mean stack is a collection of technologies which work great together. So there are a MongoDB database. And we use Express as middleware through our Node API. And then we use Angular on the front end to interact with that API. It's a very, very popular stack in the web development world and it's one that I use frequently. They allow flexibility. The Node and Express APIs allow microservice architecture, which allows you to scale applications great, which obviously works with Angular very well which is what we were saying in the earlier videos. So let's start by setting up your database. So if you head over to mongodb.com and click login at the top, that'll bring you to a page where you can click register. So if you click that, if you enter in all your details and click continue, and then once you're logged in, you need to create a new cluster. And I do this by selecting AWS and select your nearest free tier available. So for me in Europe, that's Frankfurt but it must have free tier available for you. And then you want to select the free version of this. So I'm selecting the 512 megabyte storage free forever. And just click create cluster. Go through the annoying capture. So that's going to take a few minutes just to get set up. So go and make yourself a cup of tea or something. Okay, so when your cluster has been created, you can go ahead and click connect. The first thing it'll ask you to do is whitelist your IP. So add your current IP address, and that'll just automatically be defaulted to yours. And then you'll need to create a MongoDB user. So you'll need a username and a password. This could be the one you set up when you create an account, or you could create an additional user with different privileges. So let's go ahead and choose a connection method. And we want to connect via our application. So you can click on the SRV connection string. And this is the connection screen you're going to need to copy for your API. So this is going to be your username and your login password. So that needs to be replaced. If you want to create an additional user to use a, a different username or different password, click on view your list of users and add new user. So I'm just going to make this one a read and write to any database. That should be fine. Now I'll simply call mine Sam. And I'll use a strong password, which I won't show you. Okay, so go ahead and click add user there. 
So you can see I've got two users and I could use any of those to connect to this database. So if you just double check that you've copied this string, write it down somewhere, because we're going to go off and get the API now and we're going to need this string to connect to the database. So if you head over to the Learn Angular 7 GitHub repository, you can see that there are six branches. If you click on that, you'll see that there is a branch section five underscore API. And what that is, is the current code base with the API. So it's right at the start of section five. So what you can do is clone or download that. If you've got an SSH key set up locally, copy this link. Otherwise use HTTPS, copy this link again. I'm going to use SSH and then go to your terminal command line. So in your source folder, you can simply take that link and git clone the repository onto your local hard drive. And hit enter. And once you have that repo locally, open your ID up on the folder. So you'll see we now have our up-to-date source code plus an API. So if we just have a quick look at this, if we open that up and go into server.js, you'll see this is our application. And I've added here a to-do, which is to enter your connection string. So if you take the connection string that you copied from the MongoDB website and where it says password, just enter your password. That's now our connection string stored. Now this API was actually created using Node. We don't need to dig too much into it. This is beyond the scope of this course. But just to show you, there are some roots here. So this is what the express package allows us to do. It allows us to create roots so that our client can go through them to the database to get what we need. So we have a get root, a get root with the dynamic property of ID for a single assignment. We have a post, a put, which is update and delete. So now that we've added our connection string, let's try connecting to our database. We need to head into our terminal or command line. So if you navigate to your application and then navigate to the API folder. So you'll see there are a number of files, the key one being server.js. This is what's going to run our API. So all we need to do is type the command node server.js to start that. Okay, and we can see that gives us confirmation that's running on the local port 8010. Okay, so now we've learned how to set up a MongoDB database online. And we've also got our API running locally so that we can interact with our database.